Hello YouTube. Hope you're having a great day today. I'm out and about. Before I get started, I'd just like to say thank you to all of those out there who've uh, liked and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Really kind of makes it all worthwhile, really. Anyway, today I'm on the south coast of the island and I'm in a place called Castle Cove. Due south of here is Cherbourg. So, uh, yeah, France is that way. And I'm perched on some rocks that have been dumped around the coast here in order to try and protect it from coastal erosion. So I'm actually perched on a rock here and the camera is on a tripod on the bank being propped up by various bits and pieces. So it's a little bit shaky, please bear with me. The things we do for our channels. Anyway, I'm uh, smoking my Falcon, as you can see. And um, I've actually bought myself a new bowl for this. It's a Dover bowl. And this is the second time I've actually smoked it. I'm quite taken with it actually, because it's a little bit bigger than your average Falcon bowl. Which is a good thing. It's rusticated, so it's quite easy to hold when you're out and about. It's a little bit fatter in general. It's quite comfortable. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It was a good buy. But in it is something a little bit controversial. It's Galwith Hogarth's Bob's Chocolate Flake. I think that's what it's called. One of the Lakeland tobaccos. Uh, the only other Lakeland I've tried is Ennerdale Flake. And uh, I quite like that actually. It's a bit unusual. Um, but I put off trying these Lakeland tobaccos for quite a while. So I was a little bit concerned about the whole floral aspect of them. Um, when I think about smoking pipes or cigars, I generally think of drinking a bitter or a whiskey. So obviously a tobacco that's infused with either whiskey or something along those lines is sort of quite appropriate really. But when you think about a tobacco that's infused with floral notes, it seems a little bit foreign. I have to say a few years ago, I did have a little bit of a dalliance with snuff, nasal snuff. And snuff comes in all different types, all different flavours, all different smells. But there seem to be sort of two main varieties really. There's the, the sort of the floral ones, and then there's what they call the SP, which are more the raw tobacco flavours. And um, they're nice, and that's kind of where I started with snuff. But uh, after a while, I did actually sort of vary out and try a few different things. And uh, Wilson's a Charo do one called Jockey Club, and it's really, really floral. When I think back, I really used to quite enjoy that. So I suppose really, in a way, it seemed quite natural to try a tobacco that mimics those sort of floral notes. This is my third smoke of this. And um, I really dried it out. I actually dried it out overnight, took the flake out, scrunched it all up, and left it to dry overnight. And I have to say, it's smoking really, really easily today, which is great because it's quite windy. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's a blend that's made up of Virginias, 82% Virginia apparently, Burley and 8% Latakia. But uh, for me anyway, in my taste buds, it's the Latakia really that wins out. Um, seems to be like the more powerful flavour of the lot and it makes it quite a robust smoke. As far as the chocolate is concerned, well I guess I get a little bit of that when I swell it out of the bag. But um, once you're actually smoking it, it seems quite absent to me. Maybe a little bit on the aftertaste, but nothing, nothing really significant. I don't get vanilla at all. What I do get is a really strong, tasty tobacco that does have a slightly creamy undertone to it. I'd recommend giving it a go, definitely. Um, in comparison to Ennerdale Flake, which I will do a little review on as well, I think that this one actually is a little bit more soapy. Than Emmerdale, which is interesting because this sort of soapiness seems to be the prime directive, so to speak. Not to be Star Trek, wasn't it? Seems to be the prime directive of Emmerdale, but for me, this one's a bit, a bit soapy, really. It's nice, though. It's nice on a day like today. I had a really nice cup of tea with it the last time I smoked, quite a sweet one, and that really seems to do it a lot of good. So, yeah, Bob's Chocolate Flake, all with Hogarth. I really recommend you give it a go. It's an interesting smoke, something a little bit different. It's not offensive 
Um, so don't be put off by the naysayers when it comes to the labeling brand of tobacco because, you know, they're nice, they're different. Sometimes it's good to try something different. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to um, get off the side of the cliff and I'll do a little shot of where we were sat so you can see where I've been. And then I'm going to show you around, I'm going to show you Ventnor which is the next town east of where we are. Quite a big town on the island, quite a popular town. Um, lots of second homes there, lots of residents in there, it's a really really mixed group of people. I'm going to show you that from the sea at least, or rather from the coast. And then I'm going to take you around this way here and take you through Castle Cove which is really pretty and then round to Steeple Cove which um, gets really busy in the summer. There's another place that does sort of fish food and crab food and all that sort of thing and uh, crab food. <laughs> and it's, it's really nice, it's really pretty and really picturesque. So um, I'm going to crack on and show you a little bit around now and um, enjoy the rest of this pipe. Okay folks, so that's where I was sat. And um, I'll show you in a minute, but just around there is the town of Ventnor. So I was sat there, these are all the rocks that they dumped around the coastline to try and protect it from uh, sea erosion. And uh, I need to get over there, across these. Wish me luck guys. Turned round 180 degrees from where I am, and uh, over there in the distance, that white building you can see is just on the edge of Steep Hill Cove. And uh, you can see some more of the rocks that have been planted along here to protect the coastline. Anyway, we're going to head off round now to Steep Hill Cove, and uh, I'm going to try and get some nice photographs of that for you, or video of that for you rather. Key points along the way. I don't think we'll be going down there. Little shot backwards to where we were. I forgot to mention there's a boat slip just there. And here, this is Steep Hill Cove. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was a little tour of Castle Cove and Steep Hill Cove on the south of the Isle of Wight. Um, enjoyed with some Gore with Hogarth, some Bob's chocolate flake in my Falcon. Thanks for watching. I've been the English Smoker and I'll see you next time.